Hey everybody, this is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve systems of equations using substitution. I'm going to give you the steps to solve systems of equations and then solve these two systems using substitution. This is a good video if you're just starting solving systems using substitution or you want to review on solving systems using substitution, using the substitution method. I'm going to attach a link to another video on solving systems of equations using substitution that contain more challenging problems. So if you're looking for some more advanced problems, you can check that out. All right, let's get into it. So our system for number one, we've got y equals negative 2x plus 4 and y equals 3x minus 6. And we know a system is basically just multiple equations representing the same quantity. And our solution is going to take the form x, y. So we're going to get an ordered pair for our solution. I'm going to write the steps to solve over here using the substitution method. So our first step. We want to solve one equation for a variable. And our variable, the easiest way to identify what variable we want to solve for, we could technically solve for any variable, but we want to make our math as easy as possible. So we want our variable to have a positive coefficient of one. In these two examples, we're not going to get into step one very much. I'm going to make another video with more exa advanced examples. So if you want to go through step one, you can check out that second video. The link will be at the end of this video. So in this video, I just want to go through the basics of the substitution method. So we notice that solve one equation for a variable. Both of our equations are already solved for a variable. They're already solved for y. So that first step is done for us. Second step, this is our substitution. So we want to substitute the solved equation or solved expression step one into the second equation. So what that means is let's look at maybe this top equation, okay? So our top equation, we have y equals negative 2x plus 4. So this top equation is already solved for y, and we know that y is negative 2x plus 4. So that's our expression. So we can substitute that expression into the bottom equation in for y. We know our y value here has to match, has to be negative 2x plus 4. So our substitution is going to look something like this. Negative 2x plus 4 equals 3x minus 6. And basically all we did is take this quantity right here and put it in for y and got that as our equation. Now once we get this, We've got an equation with one variable, just x, so we can solve that equation. So we can solve our, our, our equation for our variable. So let's go through our steps to solve. I'm going to add the 2x, add the 2x, combine our like terms. We get 4 equals 5x minus 6. Let's add 6, add 6. We get 10 equals 5x, divide by 5, divide by 5, 5 is divide out, and we get x equals 2. All right, so our next step is, so we know our x value for our solution is 2. We need to figure out that y value. is we want to substitute that solved variable back into one of our original equations. So I'm going to pick, let me pick that bottom equation. So our bottom equation, y equals 3x minus 6. Let 
and our value for x is 2, so we're going to put 2 in for x here. So we're going to have y equals 3 times 2 minus 6. y equals 6 minus 6, which is going to give us a value of 0 for y. So our x value is 2, our y value is 0. And our last step is going to be our check. So for our check, let's take our solution to 0, substitute into the top equation, into the bottom equation, make sure our answers check. So if I'm working with y equals negative 2x plus 4, we know that negative 2, that's our x, and 0, that's our y. So for our substitution, we're going to have 0 equals negative 2 times 2 plus 4, 0 equals negative 4 plus 4, and 0 equals 0. So our solution checks in that top equation, and in the bottom equation, we're going to do the same thing. y equals 3x minus 6. So our y value is 0, x value is 2. So we'll get 0 equals 3 times 2 is 6, 6 minus 6. And we get 0 equals 0. So our solution checks in the, the bottom equation as well. So our solution for this system is 2, 0. All right, let's go on to example number 2. All right, number 2, we've got y equals x plus 4 and 2x plus 3y equals 7. So we know our first step is we want to solve an equation for a variable. So we notice that that top equation is already solved for our variable or is already solved for y and y equals x plus 4. So we can get into our second step and do our substitution. So we know that y is going to be equal to x plus 4 in that bottom equation. So we can rewrite that bottom equation as 2x plus 3 times x plus 4 equals 7. So that's the substitution part of our, uh, our substitution method. So let's solve this. Now let's distribute, distribute. So we've got 2x plus 3x plus 12 equals 7. Add our like terms, we get 5x plus 12 equals 7. Subtract 12, subtract 12. 5x equals negative 5, and then divide by 5. Divide by 5, we get x equals negative 1. So we know x is negative 1. Let's substitute that back into one of our original equations. I'm going to use the top equation because it's going to be a little bit easier to work with. So y equals x plus 4. So I'm going to have negative 1 plus 4 and y equals 3. So our solution is negative 1, 3. Now let's do our check. So for our check... Top equation y equals x plus 4. We know that x is negative 1. And y is 3. So let's do that substitution. So we'll have 3 equals negative 1 plus 4. And 3 equals 3. So left and the right side check. And then in the bottom equation, 2x plus 3y equals 7. So our value for x is negative 1. Our value for y is 3. So I'm going to have 2 times negative 1 plus 3 times 3 equals 7. I get negative 2 plus 9 equals 7, and I get 7 equals 7. So again, the left and the right side check. So our answer checks, and it's going to be negative 1, 3. In this video, we went through two introductory examples to solving systems of equations using substitution. If you want to go through some more exa advanced examples, in particular using that first step where we have to isolate a variable and identifying the variable to isolate, uh, check out the link for the video that's going to come up at the end of this video that you're coming up right about now. If you like this video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. This is Nick from First Coast Math Clinic.